What's up coaches? Hope you guys are doing well. Here is our video for Tuesday. A reminder that the warm-up is posted in a separate link in its entirety at the top of the day's program. I liked the way the warm-up played out in the 6 a.m. class today. I felt like it was a really good mix of movement and skill development. Feel free to make that warm-up your own if you'd like to, as long as it fits within the confines of the class. So we're going to be preparing athletes for the three-position clean with some different coaches' cues. Our main focus today is to focus on the sweet spot or the takeoff position of the barbell all right so as you go through try and find ways to incorporate that so this first coach's cue five to seven reps of just the position into the stand so pockets stand above the knee stand mid shin stand Okay. five to seven times through you may be giving points performance some different cues throughout that portion now we're going to put range of motion or action to this with the position plus jump pockets jump above the knee jump mid shin jump here's where we get into the sweet spot a little bit more what athletes are going to want to do uh, is they're going to want to jump right from that spot so the above the knee, for example, they're going to just take off from that above the knee position. What we want is for them to sweep the bar back into the sweet spot at high thigh before they accelerate into that jump, right? Now we take and put this into full action. So we're going to do the full movement right, with the cues. Pockets, clean. And above the knee, clean. Mid chin, clean. Uh, notice I am catching in the power position. These are power cleans today, not squat cleans. All right. So sweet spot is your priority and your point of focus for the day. Five to seven reps of each. Let's take a look at the strength. So we're putting this into practice now. We're going to be completing one three position clean, power clean, like I mentioned, every 90 seconds for seven sets. This is going to be building to a heavy but perfect for the day. That's very different for different athletes, for some, new to the barbell, so on, they may be doing the same weight consistently for technical purposes. For our advanced, experienced athletes, they can definitely build up to something very, very challenging, um, slash heavy but perfect for today. All right. Um, we want to work on the sweet spot. Continue to reemphasize that. Make that your centerpiece, uh, that point of contact that people are hitting whenever they are accelerating into the second pull of the clean. All right, let's take a look at your workout for today. All right, so for our workout, we have five rounds for time, seven burpees, 14 Russian swings, and 21 double unders. So our stimulus for this workout, this is meant to be a burner. We keep the rep count relatively low so that we can chase intensity. So we gotta attack the transitions, um, meaning that we go from burpees right to kettlebell swings, kettlebell swings right to double unders, double unders right back to burpees. And we're attacking those transitions. We're shooting for a sweet spot here of somewhere between a minute to a minute and a half each round. Doesn't have to be perfect, um, but with that, we would love to stay under seven minutes for the workout as a whole. Let's talk about each movement individually. So the burpee, smooth, slightly fast for most. Um, for your fittest athletes, your fire breathers, this is gonna be a very, very fast workout where they can go burpees at max speed. So ideally, we're spending 30 seconds or less accumulating uh, those seven burpees. 30 seconds or less is the goal. We need to go to less burpees or sprawls to make that happen. Russian swings, unbroken always. Okay? Try to grab the heaviest weight. You feel like you can swing unbroken perfectly from start to finish. All right, a note on the kettlebell swings, be patient. If you're doing them unbroken, you're gonna get them done quickly, meaning that you're not gonna be swinging and rushing through and pulling, 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 smooth, boom, smooth, boom. Okay? Enjoy that top position, let it float, use the hips. The double unders, we want a short burst of jump rope here. We definitely want this under 30 seconds. So that can be double unders, that can be less double unders, or 30 to 40 seconds really hits the sweet spot right here. 
Primer is important as always, uh, specifically to see that we're fitting within that burner mentality, that burner stimulus of two, four, and eight. All right, we're working on trading with intent. Last little tidbit before I let you guys go. Uh, why are we doing a particular movement? What is the purpose behind it? How do we train in a way that really emphasizes uh, that particular purpose? Find ways to work that in and really sell it hard for your athletes this week. Hope you guys enjoy your day. See ya.